Bang, bing. Hola, señor. Mira. Whatever that means. But anyway. What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? You see this beautiful day? This is a beautiful day outside. It's beautiful, huh? I hope you guys wake up and thank God for waking you guys up this morning. I'm truly grateful and thankful. But anyway, I'm here with a with another great video for you guys. You know, it's actually a video. It it um explains in details, a little bit more detail. I try to find video that will get people who's having um let me say help people who's having problem with getting experience. Just have a general idea, even though nothing beat hands on. You know what I mean? Nothing be hands-on. You could have know the whole damn book. You probably go in there and get stuck. But hands-on, it beat, it beat. But hands-on beat anything. But this information that's in the video, it just give you a little deeper, deeper understanding of what go on on a day-to-day -day basis in the department instead of processing. Yeah. Just watch it. I want you guys to, first of all, I want you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Because, I, as I said, I'm trying to reach another thousand people. Um, so, keep you guys, keep your likes going. Oh, yeah. Keep the phone calls coming. I actually like helping you guys. I actually enjoy that. So, keep the phone call coming. Keep the text message coming. Uh, if you email me, um, I don't know. I probably won't see that. But, phone, phone number, it's on there. Hit me up. And let me know what you guys think. But anyway, watch the video. I need a response for you guys. Um, anything else that could help you guys, let me know. Uh, shoot that message. I'll definitely take a look at it. But yeah, peace out. Watch the video. Whoops. Before a surgery can take place at any of the CAMC hospitals, the proper equipment must be ready in the surgery suite. That's the job of Central Services, to make sure the necessary surgical instruments are packaged and ready for each procedure. Let's take a behind the scenes look at Central Services. We visited the one at Memorial. There are similar departments at General, Women and Children's, and Tays Valley Hospitals. At all four hospitals, including Surgicare and the Ambulatory Surgery Center at General, more than 33,000 surgeries were performed last year. At Memorial, that's an average of about 30 each day in the main surgery department. Memorial's Central Services also processes trays of equipment for Surgicare, Cardiac Cath Lab, Central Dynamics Lab, and nursing units. Number one job for CS is to fight infections, kill microorganisms that ultimately lead to uh, patients' infections. At each hospital, Central Services works to ensure that surgery, cath labs, and nursing units have the necessary equipment when it's needed. Central Services is responsible for decontaminating and sterilizing instruments for use in surgery. The instruments are placed in containers or trays depending on the kind of case. For example, cardiac, vascular, laparoscopic, orthopedic, or general surgery. Each tray also has a barcode to be able to track it from the technician loading the tray until it goes to surgery and returns to Central Services for cleaning. Uh, you can see on the outside, these arrows lock the tray, lock the lid on, and the black dot signifies that it's been through the sterile process. Uh, these are these are steamed; they go through the steam process. Uh, the initial of the technician that set the tray up and a load number that we can use for recalling um, instruments if we've had a wet load, uh, moisture in the tray, uh, or if uh, uh, we need to go back and find out. Uh, anything about that tray, we can pull the load records based off of that number. In the decontamination area, each cart is broken down with the instrument containers separated from the instrument baskets. They're washed by hand using an enzymatic cleaner to break down blood and protein on the instruments. The technicians wear the proper personal protective equipment for working in decontamination. The instruments are then placed in a washer for a 45-minute wash and dry cycle to further decontaminate the equipment. Some instruments cannot go through the steam wash because they can't withstand high temperatures or fluids, so they're decontaminated by hand. 
then pass through to another section for further cleaning with alcohol. When we come, when we come in in the morning, we, um, we have to uh, bring out the new stock for the day. Uh, that, that's a daily thing, except for the weekends. Um, we just basically break it out of the shipping boxes and set it up to be um, put on the shelf. Once we get that finished, then we uh, will separate in our uh, specified areas for the day. An elevator carries the clean equipment from central services to an area in surgery so the equipment can be distributed to the appropriate OR suite. If the clean equipment is not used in surgery, it's sent back to central services on the same elevator so it can be stored until it's needed. The equipment that is used comes down a separate elevator and directly into a decontamination area, further preventing the spread of bacteria. Central Services also has two inventory controllers who maintain the stock levels for all the disposable products. They do a daily count and submit a requisition to purchasing. Purchasing contacts our main distributors to place the order.